Well, hello, my fellow Cajuns. Yeah, today, as you can see, I'm wearing my University of Louisiana t-shirt for a good reason for this one. Because today, we're going to talk about the Blackham Coliseum. All right, so here it is, and here it stands, the Blackham Coliseum. And just uh, some notes in the beginning here, guys. I'm using my phone again today. I found that the GoPro's image quality was second to none. It was amazing. But the audio was very, very muffled on it. So I had to order a microphone and all that stuff so I can have an external mic to get better sound out of the GoPro. So um, I'm using my phone today. I'm actually using a new app, uh, app an app <laughs> that I discovered and uh, we're kind of trying that out today. So. Um, so bear with me until uh, hopefully within the next few days. I got it off of Amazon, so you know how that goes. Hopefully in the next few days I can get my new mic and we can uh, go back to the GoPro. So uh, for now, let's see how this goes. But um, So I do apologize if there's any wind noise or anything like that. Like I said, just bear with me. Just getting started with all that. So kind of one thing at a time, you know. But uh, back to the story at hand. Uh, this is the Blackham Coliseum. Built in 1949 on the, well, at the time, the Southwestern Louisiana Institute campus, which is now called University of Louisiana campus, obviously. And it was built mainly for uh, things like livestock shows, like trade shows, um, you know, things like that. It housed, uh, I say it housed, it um, was where the men's basketball team played basketball from 1949 until well about 1984 85 um, when the Cajun Dome was built right down the street about uh, I don't know maybe not even a half a mile down the road um, and they've been playing the Cajun Dome since I think 85 because the Cajun Dome was complete in 84 so uh, yeah I already checked the doors we can't get inside but I will walk around the entire thing and talk about it a little bit we can get into the uh, barns that's the word I was looking for back there. We can walk around a little bit there and show you around, but um, it's a pretty unique place. And uh, for being 73 years old, it's in very good shape, in my opinion, for what it stands, you know, what it, what it serves as and all that. Um, it's kind of hard to keep things that old looking pristine unless you just have all the resources, you know, but it belongs to a, uh, to the school and it served mostly like I said for livestock shows and things like that it was named after Stafford Morgan Blackham who served as the at the time the SLI again Southwestern Louisiana Institute uh, Dean of Animal Husbandry and as such it was named or I should say it was used for things like livestock shows and all that and uh didn't just only serve for that it served also for like I said basketball games uh, athletics in general um, the Earl K long gym which is on the campus it like really like on in the middle of campus uh, is still used by a lot of the women's sports athletics volleyball and such uh, maybe basketball still I'm not too sure I don't know if the women play it at the Cajun Dome yet or not but um so that still stands. I will, and actually, I'll, I'll include that in this vlog. I'll drive by it and go do a quick uh, snap of it so you guys can see. But it's pretty old, and it's still open. I, I saw volleyball games there as of not so uh, not so long ago. And it is a little breezy, guys. I do apologize if there's some kind of wind noise. I'm working on that. Here's a placard here. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Stafford Morgan Blackham Livestock Coliseum, South Louisiana Midwinter Fair Association, 1949 AD. Frank A. Godshaw, Jr. President, South Louisiana Midwinter Fair Association. Dr. Joel L. Fletcher, which I'm assuming Fletcher Hall is named after on the campus, President, Southwestern Louisiana Institute. Building Committee, well, I'm not gonna go through all those names, that's not, I don't need to know all that. But, uh, yeah, Midwinter Fair Rodeo, for those of you who don't know, is mostly based around, like, obviously, radio, uh, rodeo, excuse me, 
uh, and livestock show and all that stuff. And it's, it's a big deal. They've been having it here for as long as I can remember. I'm pretty sure longer than I've been alive. The dang old doors are locked. Couldn't get in. But I'll, I'll add some pictures in here to show you exactly what it looks like inside. Um, and all that. There's another placard showing the president of the university at the time, 1967, 1968. Looks like it was renovated at that time. This is to commemorate the, the renovation of it, I'm assuming. Pretty cool. So yeah, like I was saying, it hosts more than just uh, livestock shows and trade shows and all that and, and athletics. It also hosts concerts and such, especially back in the day. Before the Cajun Dome was built in 84, or completed in 84, everything was here. The Coliseum held everything. It was the main point of attraction, uh, or the main source, I should say, of all of those types of things, uh, athletics, um, besides Earl K. Long Gym. It, like I said, the men play basketball here, the women play basketball, and I think they might still play basketball at, at Earl K. Long. I'm not too sure. I'd have to check on that. But. Uh, up until that time, you know, it, before the Cajun Dome was built, this was this held many more events than it does now. But the inside, I mean, it looks like an old school arena. You know, the seating looks old school. The, the hallways that go around, like, you know, around the building, where the concessions and the restrooms are, it looks old school. It looks like, you know, something from the 50s and all that. And now we're kind of walking up on the barns and the... And they used to have... Uh, like little fairs and carnivals out here too in the lawn out there. I remember as a kid, they'd have a fair out here. You know, even as recent as, uh, or as long ago as the mid to late 80s. Not like state fair type of stuff. And I'm curious to see if they held state fairs here because they have the state fair every year at the Cajun Dome now. But I'm wondering if they held the state fair or any state fair here at the Coliseum. Check that out. That's probably where they moved livestock in and out of the Coliseum. The main back door there. And like I said, in my opinion, I think the integrity of the building is pretty good. I mean, it's 73 years old. That's older than my parents. So, I mean, that's... To keep something looking very good and keep it very structurally sound for that long, that's not an easy feat. I'm sure you'd agree, most 73-year-old buildings are uh, not usually in this good a shape. Unless it's a house, you know, something that somebody can maintain on their own with their own budget and all that. We're going to walk back here into some of the barns. Sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm trying to be as steady as possible. And that one time I used the GoPro, I got spoiled to that shock absorption. And it really does make a difference. There's a police back here. Oh, not intruding on anything. <laughs> yeah, check this out. These two barns next to each other make up, I think, 45,000 square feet. And I remember as a kid, there's a lot going on in here with livestock and all that. And, and uh, you know, back in the days where there were, there were more things going on back here, like Midwinter Fair Rodeo, it was a big deal. In the inside, before the Coliseum opened, like I said, the basketball team played, the men's basketball team played at Earl K. Long Gym, which at least at the time, I don't know what the seating is now. Hey, pigeon. But back then it, was, it sat 1,500 people, which is pretty small, you know, especially considering how much arenas sit, you know, seat these days in this, you know, between 70 and 100,000. And uh, they moved here in 49 where it sat 5,500 for a basketball game. So instantly they moved here and, and could uh, 
seat 4,000 more people right away. So I'm sure that was a big, a big deal, like a big uh, improvement. And when they hold concerts here, it seats about 9,800 people. Not too shabby. Not the Cajun Dome size by any means. I think Cajun Dome holds around 30 to 40,000. I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but I think it's somewhere around there for concerts. Maybe a little bit more for concerts. I might be thinking of basketball game numbers. It's been a while. But, uh, so yeah. And the total floor space here inside of the Coliseum is about 25,000 square feet. Floor space. Open, open floor space. And, uh, some notable concerts. This might blow some of your minds here. Some of you might remember this. Back in the 60s, notably the 60s, three huge acts that came through here was Jackie Wilson, and get this, James Brown. Can you imagine James Brown? All my fellow Cajuns here in Lafayette, can you imagine James Brown playing in here? And Jackie Wilson. And the Supremes played here in 1965 on their symphony tour. The 1965 symphony tour they played here. The Supremes. James Brown and Jackie Wilson. Man, to see any of those three. I'd love to see all three of those. I was alive back then. So yeah, as recent as 2009, there were two different sporting... Uh, I guess events or teams that played here both in the same year. One was for the Louisiana Ice Skaters who used to play in the Cajun Dome um, back in the mid to late 90s and maybe early 2000s. It was a huge hit. I mean, absolutely huge hit. And uh, they played the Cajun Dome for all those years and then they kind of disassembled and it kind of went away. Then it came back in 2009 and they played here I believe maybe they played the Coliseum for just that one season and then they went back to the Cajun Dome after that for a few years and then it kind of just fell apart again and it's no longer a thing there's no Louisiana ice skaters uh, anymore and if I didn't say so just now it was a hockey team it was a semi-pro hockey team and it was part of the East Coast Hockey League back in the 90s and maybe two, you know early 2000s but when it came back when it resurged it was part of the Southern professional hockey league and then also in 2009 there was a or an indoor football team we had here called the Acadiana Mud Dogs and they were part of the Southern Indoor Football League and I believe it was only for maybe that one year in 2009 I believe didn't last too long so yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this place. Uh, it's not the focal point of the vlog like Blackham is, but I uh, just want to show it to you guys. You know, it's still a beautiful building. They're taking really good care of it. But this is where all the indoor sports were held for Southwest Louisiana Institute. And the women's sports are still held in here. Volleyball, I believe basketball. I keep on saying that, but I'm just not too sure. I haven't been to a women's basketball game in a long time, so. Yeah, I figured while I'm on campus, I might as well show you guys my brick. Every graduate of UL gets a brick in the sidewalk somewhere around campus. Cool, huh? So yeah, that's about it for the Blackham Coliseum. The Blackham Coliseum. 73 years old and still looking pretty dang good still holding up pretty dang good uh i enjoyed doing this vlog i grew up here so i've done about a million and 15 things here at the black and coliseum over the years and i'm sure all of my local cajun friends here have too so uh feel free to share your stories and your experiences here any other cool info you might know about the place um that'd be great to add to the you know to add to the forum or add to the the comments and all that that'd be pretty cool to see and hear about and uh if you have any ideas, any places you'd like me to vlog or do research on and, and tell a story about, let me know. Um, and in the meantime, you know, like it, subscribe to it, tell your friends about it, have them subscribe to it. The more subscriptions I get and the more, the more likes I get, the more that YouTube wants to show my stuff. 
And so, uh, which is a good thing because if this was a short-term thing, I wouldn't really care too much, but I'd like to do this for a long time. I'm really finding that I, I'm really enjoying doing all these and I look forward to doing many more um, and sharing them with you guys. So I hope I can build a, a, you know, a good community with uh, people local, locally and not so locally. So uh, feel free to leave your comments. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll go ahead and hang up here and say I'll see you on the next one. And goodbye.